Think it, speak it, live it. If you're not happy with your life, look at what is in your thinking that got you to that place. What you think ultimately determines who you are. Change what you think and you change everything. of Proverbs it says for as a man thinks in his heart so is he we are constantly fed on other people's opinions and thoughts of us and of life we need to gain the ability to think God's thoughts and develop our own ideas and core values often we go through life with self-imposed limitations we think we can't do something so we don't the truth is, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. God said in Joshua 1.8, The book of the law shall not depart from out of your mouth. You shall meditate on it day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success. To meditate moves from thinking to actually re-speaking what God says about you. You memorize, ponder and speak those promises and it will produce in your life. For I know the thoughts I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. As you spend time with God, He will reveal His plans and how to fulfill them. He will give you creative ideas. Let this mind be in you that is in Christ Jesus. Your thoughts create a cycle. You think, you feel, you do. Believe what God says about you. Align your thoughts with His and your whole life will change. Nothing will be impossible for you. The way that you think affects how you react to disappointments, to life's afflictions and to your challenges. Your thoughts become your words, your words become your actions and your actions become your habits and ultimately determine your destiny. Change your thinking, change your life. As a man thinks, so is he. You will never go further. You will never have more or accomplish more than your thoughts allow you. If you don't like where you're at, ask God to change your thoughts to line up with His. Set aside some time every day to develop the art of creative thinking. He desires to give you creative ideas. 
To make sure that your thoughts don't go astray, use Philippians 4.8 as a guideline. Whatever things are true, noble, just, pure, lovely, and of good report, if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Don't let the enemy or negative people infiltrate your thoughts with negativity. Like a bird flying over your head, it can fly over, but it doesn't have to land there and make a nest. Meditate on what you want and not what you don't want. Wipe the slate clean of limiting thoughts, past mistakes, hurts and memories, and focus on a bright future. Think it, speak it, action it, and live it. This is the beginning.